Morning. So, morning. 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 So, looking back at yesterday, something you want to share, or something left over, or something was coming up anew? Questions, comments? I was uh, reading the paper this morning about somebody having responsibility. He, he said, uh, when I was in my job at the BBC, I was responsible for, mm -hmm. well, by that I mean, I had to answer to the press when things went wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It reminded me of what we were doing. At, at That's the, a at the interesting end. statement, what responsibility is. Yeah. Very often it's mixed up with, uh, with making somebody guilty. Yes. Is not 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 to inviting him into responding, but uh, accusing him for not responding. Yes. Then um, I was thinking around. You know, Jean Elder wrote about healthy symbiosis, mm -hmm. and others have too. Healthy symbiosis. Yes. Do you think is there ever a time in organisational settings? Or systemic work, that you would think that there was a time and a place for healthy symbiosis. Well, certainly. Evolution is full of healthy biosis. Mm. Um, for ex uh, many plants are symbioses between uh, mushrooms and plants, for example. So one bring in <coughs> energy, the other do the exchange with the world. So evolution is mm -hmm. Symbiosis, mm. uh, if you call symbiosis a way of cooperating, that uh, both organisms make themselves dependent on the other. And this, if you're married, somehow it's always a symbi symbiosis. Mm. I don't have any problem with that. Um, we, when we talk about uh, this stuff here, it's dysfunctional symbiosis, and this is defined by shifting responsibility, shifting discomfort or burdens of not being responsible or not growing. But to grow in a mutual dependence in a good way, this might be perf perfectly okay. Why should we... Maybe uh, it's because of uh, in Western areas we think too much in, in, in Individual freedom that we think sim sim symbiosis is bad. Mm. I don't think it's bad. But it's, um, it's a bit of a language problem always to say dysfunctional symbiosis. But uh, we, I don't know, maybe sometime we find a better word, shorter word for the dysfunctional symbiosis. There is one issue from an Indian organizational context, yes. which I thought I will share with you and get some clarity on that. Uh, people in India, uh, over a period of time observing organizations and the employees uh, being bonded with the organization. Yes. Earlier it was quite, they were working for 10 years in the same organization. Yeah. Uh, now it seems to be even working for two years. Yeah. Seems to be a challenge there. Now what is happening for people who are uh, working for a longer time? Uh, let's say they are earning some X money, let's say, some 10,000 rupees a month or something. Yeah. So they get an increment of 10%, 10% every month, every year. Mm -hmm. when, the new, when the new recruits are made, they are made at the current market value, mm -hmm. which is far more than the existing employees. Mm -hmm. So that creates a, a sense. Uh, yeah. This this has a section. This has a section. I mean, well, how comes that the new one? Yeah, new new one is paid more than, and I am supposed to train him also. Like so. Yeah. <coughs> then why do I do that? Mm -hmm. So that's a question they ask during the many of the training programs. Mm -hmm. The way I think about that, uh, in case it, if it's possible to have an open discussion on that, it's an uncomfortable discussion, I know. You should really talk about that. Uh, is, this, is this just a, a strategic decision of the organization? So you sh the 
employees that are in already have the same qualifications and, the, and their own, they have the same market price as employees, then they sh maybe sh should pay them the same. If they think that be, they have been in the company very long and uh, maybe their flexibility and say their usefulness for market went down, then you could think about having a lower market price. Or maybe if you bargain on a price, you include the security of uh, being safe at their organizational role. So it's a question really of openly talking about contributions uh, to the actual functioning of the company. Mm. And, and that is never spoken about. It's, it's, mm. it's, it's under the table. Yes. It keeps going into the canteens and uh, outside the organization, but not spoken up front there. So yeah, it depends. Okay. It depends with whom you are working. If mm. you are working with the employees, you can invite them to think about their own professional worth to change their mind <laughs> from being a lifelong employer to a kind of freelance mentality uh, and think about what do I think is my work worth and then discuss on it. If they stay in a dependent position, I will be here all the time and they should pay me better, then that's not... Uh, taking their own pride. Mm -hmm. And if you work with uh, HR people or the people who are uh, entitled to decide about these things, you could think, uh, talk to them about their strategy. Why, why they, whether they really want to have an overt discussion on prices on market of work or whether they hope that the ones do not know what the others get and so save some money. And if they have the illusion that works, or if it really works, that's fine. And it, if it doesn't work, they should um, face this, that it's really a topic. And maybe you can invite them really to, to uh, go uh, with more transparency. But this is also a decision of the leaders of the company, whether they are, want to allow this transference. And if there are s <coughs> uh, exploitive, symbiotic relationships of some kind, uh, all, all of them might not be interested to have a dialogue on responsibilities, on competencies, on price. Then you cannot do much as a consultant. So then you have to figure out what what, what you then can do, mm -hmm. and maybe you, uh, if they only hire you, in the hope that you can keep the unsatisfied calm, then not the best job in the world. Mm -hmm. I <coughs> wanted to ask you something in terms of that because this your your last comment was something I was thinking about, because very often mm -hmm. the first uh, request uh, being made to an organizational consultant yes. is usually to keep things quiet and so that uh, to, to, to take care of the dirty business in a way, yes. being, being outside. And I was wondering, uh, one of the concepts we have sort of worked in, in in Italy is a bit the, the working alliance in organizations. Yes. So I was wondering uh, uh, what's What's your approach to the first uh, stages in coming in into an organization? Before the contract. Right. That, that, that's, that's what I mean. I'm referring specifically to that period <coughs> before the contract is being uh, uh, developed and uh, cleared out and uh, under signed yeah. and given to who the parties involved. Yeah, maybe the first, the first idea of, uh, of these people is understandable. Okay. They do not want to have sure. problems. Sure. And um, 
it's important in the first phase to clarify with them what their frame of reference is. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean that there is some discomfort mm -hmm. in how they think? What, uh, now we are uh, again in the stages of shared reality, yeah. whether they share your idea. Mm -hmm. uh, they have an idea why and how they want to be it calm down. Mm -hmm. And you do not share mm -hmm. this idea. Mm -hmm. And then you have to talk whether you mm -hmm. can come to a common shared reality yeah. and maybe say come to the conclusion that their idea why it's a problem uh, can change mm -hmm. or that they, under, they adopt your thinking about re relationship between processes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then they may they will uh, and I certainly at first uh, it's always pacing and leading mm -hmm. I would say I understand that you want to have a quiet uh, working atmosphere. Mm -hmm. To my knowledge, if you ha have want to have it for longer, to have a quiet atmosphere and people be engaged, mm -hmm. there are uh, some more perspectives to be included mm -hmm. and dealt with, and it's possible to deal with. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you how. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they, then they, they may change frame of references, and they can uh, their originally intent can't be satisfied, but by building up a better culture, not by <coughs> just keeping things calm. Mm -hmm. Whether you can convince them, or whether they are available for the effort that needs, mm -hmm. that's a different question. But mm -hmm. if they are not, you, they have to take the risk of not not doing that. That's, and that's Should okay as focus well. On the, the their process, on, on, on the process uh, yes. rather than on the content. Yes. From the Stages. And not, mm. not, um, not offending their primary motivations, mm. but taking them and telling them that how they can be mm. satisfied differently and mm. what that might cost mm. and who has to play which kind of role within that, mm. how the frame, the time frames are that you can reach that, how the certainty is, you, you can do it or not do it, you, you never know whether it works. And I, um, usually, uh, people in companies, because companies make more money and function better if they standardize, standardize, standardize everything. Mm -hmm. yes. This is why they're usually not so much interested in diversity. Mm -hmm. I understand this. <coughs> but, and this is why they, they want to have a, a solution that they can use for everything. Mm -hmm. And and then they think uh, the normal way to hire a consultant is make a design, how we solve the problem uh, company-wide. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we roll it out mm -hmm. uh, company-wide. And most of the solutions uh, are not company-wide. They have for some people benefits. They do work in some mm -hmm. sections or do not work. And I always offer people to have a different mind, to, uh, to develop a different mindset about steps to find out what works. And, and say, okay, for example, if you have an idea to change something, let's take a part of the company that has problems with that. And on the other hand, a part of the company that's doing fine with that. Mm -hmm. Then invite people who can think about themselves into one workshop mm -hmm. and find out what the differences are. Mm -hmm. And from that you can come to an idea whether what works fine in the one part can be transported into the other part or not, and how they could um, um, be invited into a uh, mutual learning process. Not everybody, everything has to be done by the consultant. And then uh, do an how you call that a pilot, mm -hmm. and, f and finding more about more about uh, finding out more about. I always say, to tell people not we do a change now. Tell people we experiment something and we do not know whether it works, mm -hmm. and you have to tell us. But that's the attitude I realize here in the learning conversation as well. And when they understand that, if they really are asked how it could work, and if they are 
values, acceptable values in that usually uh, at least the best in these parts of the company are ready to cooperate. Mm -hmm. And then in a later stage to think about where are we now, what did we learn and how can we make a change program out of that. So this is uh, this is a way to develop a company from within, but not with a primitive idea of bottom up. Everybody comes together, have some ideas, and then we do something. It's a it's a um, expert moderated led uh, experiment ex experimental structure, and and uh, to do it with on a low cost basis and not not using too many resources. Uh, invites the leaders of the company to try it. Mm -hmm. And top not management, you mean? Pardon? Top management? Yeah, top, top management. Top what, whoever. Whoever. Uh, it should, it should not, uh, bring too much additional burden, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, unless they do not see how, to, how it could help or be worthwhile. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a balance. If you come with such a consulting idea and, mm -hmm. Say so certainly uh, we have to work. You know, let this wave go over me. That's um, yeah. This has a lot to do with the with the with the attitude mm -hmm. towards learning in companies. Mm -hmm. But but you, it's it's not easy then to make a lot of money with simple ideas. No, you, your company and you must be really sure. be clever sure. uh, because. If it should be simple for the customer, it will be difficult for you. And if it's <laughs> you make it simple for yourself, it will be difficult for the customer. And customers nowadays don't don't buy simple uh, concepts that produce difficult consequences for them. The, the market changes. Got it's good. That yeah. changed. When when you talk about change and thinking, is there any, from the system viewpoint, uh, um, meta model for process change, change process? I don't have a specific one. Okay. L like I do it here. So we we start. We know we have so much experiences with learning mm -hmm. that we can do new models and new procedures for each company and yeah. each. Mm -hmm. Part of the company we have access to. I don't. I do not have Shimata. It's, life is too diverse to come with Shimata. Is that just a satisfying yeah. answer? Yeah, yeah, very. <laughs> and it's in according with your with your attitude as well. I think. Okay, these are kind of questions usually in a framework of personal oriented schools is never asked. Mm -hmm. This is really organizational. And it's a, I always say our customers are people who run companies. Mm -hmm. And they are responsible for everything that has to be combined to have success. Mm -hmm. So if we want really to help them, we should be organized that way. We cannot just blow up one perspective and make it very important and expect that they can integrate it uh, and do something with it. We have to deliver integrated services. This doesn't mean that everybody should be able to do everything that an entrepreneur does. If he could, he would probably be not a consultant, but an entrepreneur. <laughs> but knowing about this and, and um, relating to these other aspects, we should also be covered in order to have a holistic solution. Mm -hmm. And the entrepreneur always has a holistic uh, responsibility. And we should be somehow be able to match with that. 